Hey, I'm Austin, and I'm not sure if you've noticed this, but I'm a real dude's dude. I mean... Wait a second. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hi, I'm Austin, and I'm not sure if you've noticed, but I'm a real dude's dude. And lately, I've been getting recommended all these life hack videos, five minute crafts, and it's gotten me thinking, why don't they make these for men? I mean, guys don't keep their feet clean or make cool DIY jewelry and mini crafts, hot versus cold challenge for crafty people. Guy eat meat, guy make stuff with wood, and guy not talk about feelings. Well, good news to all the manly man out there because 5 Minute Crafts actually has an account for men. That's right, 5 Minute Crafts, men. So fellas, we can finally get our gender appropriate crafts on, am I right? <laughs> Anyway, today we'll be checking out the 5 Minute Crafts Men Facebook page and we're gonna start off with the pinned post because it's literally the first thing you see when you go on the page. Alright, so this video is titled Stunning Table Design with the Burned Wood Technique. Didn't know that was a technique? Oh yeah. Man music! Rock and roll! Wow, yeah, that's burnt wood. I mean, I, I don't know what I expected. Alright, I'm gonna skip to the end though because like, <laughs> this is kind of boring. <laughs> Also, definitely not a five minute craft. Wow, yeah, that's incredibly disgusting. If I go into your house and you have the burned wood table, I'd rather eat on the floor. That looks like the goo in video games that you're not supposed to go near when there's goo in video games. Anyway, I think I hated that video enough. Let's move on. <laughs> How to fix neighborhood walls in no time. As a guy, I love to repair things and I love to enforce my need to repair things on other people. Okay, we're filling the hole with expanding foam. All right, and we're gonna cut the foam. What are we gonna do with the next? What? That's it? It's not really like a, a hack or a craft or anything. That's just using a product the way you're supposed to use it. Although actually not even, because I think you're mostly supposed to use expanding foam for small holes, not like a giant <laughs> hole. How do you even get holes like this in concrete? Okay, we're, we're putting a nail into some construction paper. Interesting. What, how does that help? How does that help you with anything? So hold up, hold up. You have to measure the paintings anyway because you need to know where to put them on the construction paper. And then you need to make an outline. Then also hold the piece of paper up straight on the wall, which is half the battle with putting up a painting. And then you just hang the paintings on the wall. What? How does that help in any way? Why are we, why are we blowing alcohol ink onto, what is that like a wall? Okay. Two not so great colors, like brown and, and like blood red are not the best colors. Oh, another brown. Cool. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that physically made me want to puke. <laughs> What is that wall supposed to be? It simultaneously looks like someone had diarrhea, someone got murdered on the wall, and like the worst painting I've seen of flowers. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? Are they trying to frame me for murder? Well, if you look on the wall, officer, you'll see that uh, my painting of flowers, that's what that is, I, I swear to God. That is not the blood of the person I killed. I'm not feeling very manly after that video. By the way, 30 minutes long, I only selected a handful of these. This video is called Funny DIY Hammer. I was thinking to myself, I really need a new hammer because I keep hitting nails in the wall with my forehead and it's not effective anymore, you know? It's just giving me a headache. So let's see how they make a funny DIY hammer. Well, that's a concerning opening scene. Okay, so just straight off the bat, silicone on the feet. We're we're going head first into this. Molten tin, sure. Um, all guys have an unlimited supply of molten tin. This is, okay, a foot. Don't, what are you doing? Don't, don't do, oh my God, that makes me uncomfortable. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's just skip ahead, because I hate this. Wait, funny DIY hammer. When crafting gets a leg up, well, they're not making a foot hammer. No, they do! They made a foot hammer! Why would you make a foot hammer? Who wants that? Oh great, he's even tickling it. Why would you make a foot hammer? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, you know? Because look, three ways to make a multifunctional hammer. Maybe one of these will be a good hammer. No, 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 I'm skipping ahead. No, I see a foot. Oh no, oh, what are they doing? No, 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 it's there! 
Oh, okay, well this one's got a magnet, so that's fine. All right, listen, this one might actually be useful. How to move heavy objects with minimal effort. As a real guy's guy, I find myself needing to lift heavy objects all the time. But like, I'm lazy, all right? I would, I'll admit it. I don't like lifting heavy objects. It's just part of being dude. And uh, almost immediately, a video that if done, could kill somebody. So good start. How to move heavy objects and also possibly get a friend killed. That is what they should have titled this video so far. Oh, perfect. They found a method for me to pick up a log and move it one foot to the side. <laughs> exactly what I've been looking for. That seems like a good way to break something. Oh, yep. Okay, attach string to log, pull log. Like, some of these seem useful, and then some of these are just straight up, like, possibly gonna kill you. And then there's a couple of these just seem like there's so many extra steps involved, like, what's the point? Like, what is, what's the point of this? Wh why? Those don't look heavy, you could just lift them. No handle? Make a handle! Wow! Who could- Oh my god! My life has been hacked. Alright, this one was getting recommended to me, like, on every video I clicked on. It has 22 million views, and honestly, I am very curious, because the first thing I see is a popped egg. Hopefully we get an answer to that one. Ah. Uh, Alright. Ste Steamer. Iron. Oh, finally, the question nobody asked was answered. You can use the money when it's wrinkled. You don't have to unwrinkle it. Unless you're using it for like a vending machine, in which case you don't have an iron probably near you. Okay, two kiwis. One is getting waxed. The other one's has an epilator. Good to know when I want to get the hair off my kiwi. That thing you don't need to do when eating a kiwi because you eat the inside, not the outside. Oh, wait. These are supposed to be balls because we're on the men page, right? So these are gonna be, these are supposed to be balls. But then it's like five minute crafts is just that weird that I almost don't doubt that this is just meant to be for kiwis. I could see this life hack being like a real thing someone thought up over there because they hate the hair on their kiwis or something or they think other people do. Like, are you eating the kiwi like an apple? Like, why does the hair matter? Okay, corn. We're putting dirt on the corn. Life hack, how to get sick. Oh, okay, electric toothbrush. You know, you know when you brush your corn <laughs> with a toothbrush? Oh, okay, and a regular toothbrush. Ah, see, the regular toothbrush is better because they probably held it down harder and it's slightly bigger, so it had more reach. <laughs> also, who the fuck is doing this? If you got dirt in the corn, just run it underwater. It's probably not cooked already, so what does it matter? <laughs> and if it is cooked already... Just, just man up and eat the damn dirt. Come on, fellas. I thought we were men. And men eat the dirt on their corn. This classic situation. Paint on the ground. When you take a dry string mop across paint... <laughs> what, what do you... Okay. When you take a dry flat mop across paint, what are you trying to prove? That one is closer to the ground and more in flat? <laughs> I knew that. Oh, okay, the eggs. When you toothpaste your egg. <laughs> oh yeah, just run that toothpaste over the egg. Let's go. Okay, we're dropping the egg into vinegar. Oh, and then that egg doesn't have toothpaste. And then 10 hours later, the egg with the toothpaste looks better. You know when you need to put your eggs in vinegar every night? You guys do that, right? That's not just me. Okay, how to remove makeup. Wait a second! This is a guy's page! Am I being lied to right now? I'm not putting eyeshadow on. I'm a manly man. The only thing on my eyes is dirt, sweat, and the tears from when I cry myself to sleep at night. I don't want to waste time doing this. I live a normal life. Well spoken. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It's a little more casual than what I normally do. I'm just trying to take it a little easy this week, and this seemed like a fun topic to cover. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.